I'm not gonna lie, this is the coolest car delivery that I'm gonna have in the last 12 months. Here it comes, I heard it, I saw it. Here it comes now, in the THC BBC. How was the drive from Salt Lake City, buddy? Oh, it's great. Good, good, great. good. Lots of Monster Energy drinks? Uh, yeah. Very good, sir, you handsome guy. That is nuts. Dude, that looks so That's good. crazy. Look at the wing, 23 inch tall arrow. Oh, it smells like gas up in this easy, bro. Woo, as it should, it's an old classic car. <laughs> While he unloads this, there are only 503 of these cars made. It's believed that there are only about 80 left in the entire existence. So this is rarer than pretty much all of the hypercars that I have. It's extremely rare. Um, not a lot of these at all. And the really neat history behind this is that they were they were built to race in NASCAR. So back in the day, you had to have an actual production car to be able to go race in NASCAR. So Dodge built this, and uh, they actually would build this as a Charger 500, then they would send it to an external fabricator to do the 503 production models that they built. And the fabricator would make the front aero piece and then the rear aero piece. NASCAR was all about the aero back in the 60s. It's crazy to me to think that you had to actually, they had to make it as a production car if it raced in NASCAR. It's literally a NASCAR. Woo, man. No blue oil smoke, that's good. Oh man. Crazy. I'm already thinking about a couple mods that I want to do. I want to keep this thing basically bone stock, but there's a few things we can do, like taking the center caps off to make it a little bit more. And then we'll talk about a livery that we're gonna do too. Now it looks like the ceiling liner is uh, drooping, but that's actually the way the seat belt would prop up because you could use it as a shoulder or a lap belt, but not both. Thanks, bud. Nice job. <laughs> this is gonna make for fun. Uh, it's got the worst, oh my God. the worst tires ever. There you go. <laughs> we're gonna be extra careful. <laughs> it's peeling out like at idle. This is gonna be... Look at it, look at it, look at it. <laughs> what? We're either gonna wreck this thing today or we're just gonna have a lot of fun. So there is literally no hood release mechanism other than these pins. It should just lift right up. That is so clean. Even the battery's brand new. The Hemi models of these, there are way less Hemis made and those go for almost a million dollars. These are actually still going for about $400,000. So this is as much as an event, like a, a, a high trimmed Aventador. Uh, but I, I think it's gonna be way more fun than that. Let's do the old carburetor rev trick. Very nice. She it's a little quiet. What would the first modification be? Yeah, buddy. Oh, it's so slippery. <laughs> this thing is stupid slippery. We hold that so I don't yeah. die. Oh yeah, it's quiet, but oh, this thing is running smooth. Oh, that's, that's quick. You can feel how much more aerodynamic it is than the old Chevelle. Like this thing cuts through the air nice. It can't have the original exhaust on it because that would be corroded and rotted by now. So we gotta go louder on exhaust. We're gonna remove the wheel caps. Actually, what we're gonna do is make it look a lot like the Richard Petty Superbird. So the Superbird was the one that came after the Dodge Daytona. The Dodge Daytona was the first one that Dodge entered with the huge arrow, and it actually won its very first race at the Talladega. And this was the first car to ever break the 200 mile an hour barrier for NASCAR. So awesome history with this vehicle. The fastest car NASCAR ever had up to this point. So we want to do the livery that Richard Petty did. We don't want to change the originality of this thing, but we're going to try to make it look similar to that livery because it's so cool. So quiet. This may be the first time in this car's 50 plus year history that it's ever seen snow. <laughs> <laughs> Inaugural burp. Wasn't this car originally yellow? It was originally yellow and we'll show you guys what it looked like from the factory. I guess uh, we actually ended up buying this from one of Stradman's friends, uh, Damon. He had this for a little while. This is Damon. He is a, he is a longtime friend of uh, James and then we met you a year ago. You've been a great guy. I, seriously consider buying your Senna. And then you were you were showing me a, a picture of this and told me about this yesterday, or yesterday, I don't even know. And uh, I was like, bro, this is, I've been looking for one of these, but it's so hard to find one with a good history. Numbers matching. Numbers matching, all original body. Um, so even the body numbers are mat uh, matching and transmission, engine, all matches, uh, build yeah. sheet. 
You got the fender tag here in the window that's going to be painted and put back on here yeah. when it's all done. Yeah, I mean, to find one with an original body is just so rare. 61,000 original miles, I think it is. And 100% in Dodge Daytona, not a replica. This is the real deal. Real Dodge deal. Daytona. XX. Come check out the wing. 29. X oh, is that, how do you tell? Is there is there a VIN code? Like with the Chevelle, it's 138 if it's an SS? Yeah, so the beginning will say XX29. Yeah, it says. I love cool. it. It isn't it? Look at, like, it's there's dirty nothing right now, else like this. Other than the Superbird, there's nothing else like this. Yeah, it's got all the, the two original jacks. It's got the spare tire, so yep. everything from its original. And then um, wow. it's even got the owner's manuals in the glove box. So you're deciding whether or not to paint it back all yellow before we started chatting. It was, Factory was a yellow car. Factory was Y2 yeah, yellow, yeah. I know they had the Go Mango, they had the Plum Crazy or something. I don't know if that was offered in these. That was yeah. just Dodge. Dodge had some awesome colors back in the 60s. Yeah. Why? Why two yellow wasn't the my favorite color. Uh, when yeah. I did post up about it, a lot of people said that they loved Y two yeah. yellow, but it wasn't my preference. Uh, Got it. But the cool thing about the blue on this car is that it was painted by the second owner in 1973. Yeah. And there's news articles from the mid 70s about him doing it. Huh. So there's so much history involved yeah. with this paint job, and this car is so well known that what I've been told from some of the bigger collectors is that. Yeah. Because of that, the car carries history, so it, it kind of can be left blue and still carry the same amount of value. Do you have a question? Oh, yeah. Like, when you open it up, it gets so gross, the spoiler. Like, it's like the Countach. Does it actually, like, touch yeah. it? No. Nope. Oh, I, okay. it, I think it misses just perfectly. I'm, like, so nervous. Bro. I wonder if they, they had to take aerodynamics out of the question where they're like, if this was an inch lower, it'd be more, it'd have greater downforce, but we have to raise it an inch so that the trunk clears it because this is a charger right really with a nose cone yep. yeah i know it's a little dirty now but the the paint on this was great that's why i just didn't want to i just wanted to do the engine bay because it was yeah, I get it. the engine bay looks very like the sheet metal if that's the original all original that's so clean yep this where did this come from the guy who i bought it from was in uh, el paso new okay. mexico so it was the south yeah dry state too yep so some of the things i did um was i bought all new like gaskets for all yep. this and um, hood and just different things all around here so everything will be brand new yep. as far as that goes and then every part that I bought for the engine is all date coded original marking stuff so it's, uh, it'll all be fresh and, and the proper way. Why do you want to sell it? Uh, I just don't have room anymore. Uh, I got two planes in the hangar and that <laughs> took up all my, uh, all my room for extra cars. We both have pilot's license, the difference between you and me, well there's two of them. One is I don't utilize mine and second is you can fly jets and do, you, you have lots more training than I do. If this blue is literally like a 9 out of 10 or better, it looks clean but it's hard to tell because it's dusty. It'd be a lot easier to repaint it blue than it would be to change it back to yellow and it'd be a, a little bit cheaper to do that than change it to yellow if you wanted it to be a 10 out of 10 blue. The only thing is, I mean, there's none of these in this color. This was a really popular color. This was yeah. the corporate blue, the petty blue, whatever. But you were gonna change it to yellow. I was <laughs> I was really on the fence. I got you, I, I got you. I, he told me I needed to make a decision in a day and it took uh -huh. me about eight days and I was still <laughs> not sure. Yeah, I, I could have gone either way. All right, you the man. Thanks, man. Sounds good. Appreciate yeah. you. Yeah, You're good appreciate man. you. We were gonna revert it back to the yellow, but I just think it was a really ugly yellow, so we ended up sticking with this car and, and repainted some of the front to make it look immaculate. And this thing is pristine. NASCAR ended up banning aero kits for any engines above 305 cubic inches. The Hemi was 440 cubic inches, so this car might have been when they kind of took it too far with aero and made the car just too fast. Uh, so fast, in fact, they banned it with big motors. So kind of crazy that that happened. I don't think I've said it before, but like going to an, a car show I far more appreciate the car shows that are classic car shows, the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s cars, than I do hyper and exotic car shows. The classic cars have always kind of had the most special place in my heart. Still love me some exotics, but classics are just a vibe. And I bought another super rare American car that is going to hit the channel hopefully in a few weeks. It's been in the shop for two solid months. <laughs> Power slide. I should be a little more worried because it was spinning out at idle. <laughs> the, the wheels were just going straight even though they were turned. But it's gripping pretty well now that the tires are warm. We haven't done donuts in a while. Yeah. Although this is like the best condition. I think we'll revive the tradition of, of doing donuts. We have to. We haven't done it a little bit, so let's see how it works. I don't know. Ha, ha, ha.
Got a little grippy. One more time. That'll work. I did pretty good. It's so slow, dude. <laughs> I know. It's just spinning so slow. And it's not a stick, so it's a little harder to control it. Nice. Now we have to ditch. <laughs> Can you just lock it in first gear? Um, that might have been a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we gotta go. We gotta go. <laughs> the tires were starting to get real grippy. Yeah, just randomly kind of got traction. We, I think we need to do donuts before we go on every drive, and then we'll do good on traction. We also have an awesome license plate. We're going to do this for this thing, but we can't reveal it yet, so nobody takes it. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys can see some of the mods that we make. Again, we're going to try and keep it tasteful and very, very original. Just make it sound a little better, look a little bit more like the OG Daytona slash Superbird from the NASCAR races. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, y'all.